Oh, my personal foul, everybody. Sorry. Judicious fire. I'm back on the iOS server. Just had a delivery. Got a bunch of pet food, but more importantly, got me some coffee. Okay, I'm back in action. It is IS4. We are testing out Zeph. And we are doing, looks like a pretty darn good job. I got Zeph running with a uh, full defensive build. Survival. As well as an empower. So he can get those wonderful auto procs everywhere. Let's go back in. Create. Invite. Invite others. So we got people pulling from the guild. Now we're, we're pulling participants from the guild. As well as from the friends list. Recently did an IS4 video. Uh, looking at the recommended not uh, mandatory, but just recommended base setup, recommended heroes to use. Uh, I make that recommendation based on the fact that auto proc heroes will be hitting globally, rapidly, the entire battle. And there are no other heroes that can make that kind of a claim. Uh, even great heroes like Levanica. Uh, for example, have to be attacked before they start raining down hits on the enemy. Uh, whereas the team that I'm running, I'm running uh, Anubis. He's knocking everybody out 100 at a time. Uh, I've got Creation in there, Ripper, Walla, Gunslinger. So five uh, auto proc heroes, Gunslinger being more, I guess, an auto fire hero. Um, and then also our new friend Zeph who is just pounding everybody. We're getting really nice times here. Look at this. We're going to be we're going to be done on this one at a minute and 30. They got these two knuckleheads that are still remaining. What we got? Yeah, like 110. That's why I'm having coffee delivered. Need my coffee to get to get through this. Okay, let's go uh create Hype, invite, where are we, eh, four, it's a slow day on the Castle Clash iOS server. I'm running this team right here, uh, and really, I mean, you can see, oh, look at the, look at the other heroes that are being used in this game mode, fantastic, I mean, we're got, we got bogey, hitting, We've got a couple Rippers. We've got some Anubises. No problem. You can see that uh, even face-to-face -face against these horrific monsters, my team's not taking any damage. That is the result of our buddy Walla Walla, who is just the quintessential, not uh, joint team, just the quintessential uh, auto proc hero. And... Uh, a really uh, still one of the top heroes of Castle Clash. I think he came in number four on my, uh, maybe number three on my uh, top ten heroes list. Uh, just his ability to boost the attack damage of your team. To slow the movement speed of the enemy. And then in addition, be the primary healer, healer on your team. And at skill 13, he's going to buff all six members of your team as well as provide a heal to all six members but he's got to get the skill 13 before that happens he's always going to leave one person out at uh skill 12. beautiful oh we got a serena down here oh that's great anybody dies she's going to bring them back couple more rippers got a demo gorgon always welcome though demo's not auto proc his blind is invaluable in this particular game mode it can really make the difference uh invite oh we got more okay good 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 keep inviting Let's see if we can't get a fourth But 
Bingo. All right, let's do it. Oh, we got a Skelly joining the action. Fantastic. Skelly's got to give those big debuffs with that hit. Do that uh, that fixed damage. We can run it at four times speed. I remember when they first uh, did they do this with Castle Clash. They're doing it with the Insane 8 series right now. And they introduce a game mode that is maybe two steps on the ladder. Two rungs on the ladder out of our reach. And what ends up happening is they then shortly introduce a upgrade or a, a new addition to the game, like skill 13 or breakthrough 30, and it lets you then surmount those remaining two rungs on the ladder. I uh, have to pay attention here for a second. Okay, and inviting and inviting. There we go. Um, and they're doing that with eight right now. It's It takes a heck of a personal fortitude to three flame those uh, eight series dungeons uh, you've got uh, you've got to get coffee delivered <laughs> this is this is exactly what it is you got to get some granola bars delivered you got to get some coffee delivered you got to say to yourself i'm going to commit a certain portion of this day to just slogging my way through the dungeons in the hopes of finally three flaming that particular one they offer another uh, upgrade yeah, it's probably going to be breakthrough 40. And then all of a sudden, we're going to find that those Insane 8 dungeons are uh, not too hard to tackle. My main point was when they um, first introduced IS-4, it was a very hard game mode. Uh, I remember getting smashed probably the first you know dozen times I tried IS-4 until I started to get a, uh, a team together that was reliable. And that was continually hitting. And on that team at the time, I was using Demo Gorgon because of his blind. It was so invaluable in uh, taking out those, especially those Commodores that come rushing out. See that big uh, storm meter proc that came up from the north. And the only one you can't use is Dove Keeper. Because Dove is going to put those Love Doves out and cause those demons to sit there beating on the Love Doves. The demons will never get close enough to your heroes to be in direct contact. And you need direct hero contact in order to hit them often enough to surpass their damage cap. To surpass the health pool attached to their damage cap. You're not going to bring them down in time. Uh, I would also warn about the use of Laz. Because Laz has such a fantastic freeze. And what can happen is, and it is, is rather rapid fire, what can happen is, uh, not form, team, create, invite, invite. Okay, such a convoluted process. Uh, he can freeze up those, uh, those demons from afar and uh, cause them to be suspended away from your main team. I would also say, even doubly so, the use of uh, Cosmo. Uh, he can, you, know, you get the right Cosmo set up, he's going to keep that demon held out there on the board away from your team for a solid minute, minute and a half. And that's the last minute or minute and a half of the round, and you end up timing out. Uh, I've seen Cosmo done beautifully, but I, I think, and it's just my opinion, I think if you're going to do the Cosmo method, you got to have more than one cause. You know, you get uh, four players together where everybody has a cause. <laughs> Forget about it, okay? When you're bringing four Cosmo procs down on the demon simultaneously and auto proccing with your remaining heroes, he's done. But one will keep you trapped. 
Uh, it looks like the last one. Uh, I would say in in all, and I'm using a, it's so many different teams that you can use. Uh, I would say in all, this is a really fantastic uh, addition. I will always be using Zeph, defensive Zeph, uh, with the Empower Insignia in this uh, game mode. And I use a lot of different heroes, but, you know, one of my go-tos uh, is going to be Zeph. He's doing a great job. I would say uh, hero number one on the list of uh, heroes that I would always run in this game mode, I would probably put Gunslinger as number one. She is hitting globally, repeatedly, shutting down the skill activation with her scatter copters. Uh, she's an amazing, amazing hero. Uh, and, you, and an Anubis with an Empower insignia and a Walla with an Empower insignia to get the attack of the bad guys down, to get your attack up, to heal you. To hit multiple targets simultaneously. You really need that. And then those last three you can play around with. I have Creation in there just because he's awesome. Uh, I have uh, Ripper in there. Because Ripper is an amazing auto proc hero. This is Ripper's forte. I've done a couple of Guild Wars attacks with Ripper. And the man gets chewed up and spit out. He, he does not have the combat capability he is much more defensive this is why the dodge bonus that he gets this is why the silence that he has this is why like a malaise enchantment's a wonderful thing to put on him run a wicked armor to keep down the reflect a sacred light if you want to go even more defensive i have with a wicked armor and it's plenty and he doesn't get killed uh, a lot of rippers you know they come out squishy and uh I think it's a lack of Wicked Armor. When he does that auto proc, he eats all that reflect and deflect damage from the bad guys. Real nice. Okay, we just ran through all those ISs. Beautiful job, everybody. Uh, great having a, a team to be able to call upon to do those. Um, it's minor. That's <laughs> just so minor as we go out here. I understand that it was it was uh, <laughs> an, an infernal summit featuring Zephyrica video. Uh, just the most minor gripe, friend. And I said it on videos before. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> okay. If you don't have evolved heroes, if your heroes are still pink. Okay, on the on the lava board. If this still pink, don't be running lava. Don't be running lava three or lava four. Because what it does is if you don't have a team to call upon at the time you need them. And I love running lava three for the HBM cards. So I can do my Herbie Monsters as often as I want. If you don't have the the an evolved hero and preferably double evolved then you need to stay on lava one and two all you do is cause the connection system and the whole networking system to be all gummed up as we finally try to get you out of that cycle so i'm not the only person in, in the castle clashing community to shake their head at a, a pink vet vlad dracula or a pink siren, or a pink orc spain as they pop up. If you're going to do that stuff, do it with your guildmates. <laughs> I think it's like, it's, I'm not even going to make an analogy. That type of behavior needs to be kept in the family and needs to be kept quiet. Okay, let's make sure that your pink orc spain is with your guildmates and nobody else in the community is aware. Just a public service announcement, everybody. Thank you. I will check you on the next Zeph video. We're going to go around the Castle Clash board and all the different game modes. I'm going to try them in Archteam as well. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.